Hi guys! Today we're going to be unboxing my first fairy loot box. So before I open this box, I just want to mention fairy loot did post an Instagram post about this box mentioning the fact that there is a Wicked Saints item in here and if you don't know there's been some controversy about that book and the author involving some bullying online and anti-semitic themes within the book. I haven't read it. I did own a copy that I've since unhauled but they'd already shipped the boxes when all this kind of controversy came to light. So I'll post their Instagram post right here in case you're curious you can read it. But with that said let's get into it. <laughs> I've never had a fairy loot before. I've had some owl crates. If you've been watching for a while, you know that. So I'm really excited to open this box and see how they compare. I'm probably only going to stick with one of the subscriptions moving forward. I am currently subscribed to both. I have found that I've tended to like the special edition books from fairy loot a bit better. They feel a little bit more special and that there's usually sprayed and stenciled edges or like the differences between their edition and the regular edition just feel a little more like pronounced. So I'm kind of leaning towards fairy loot at the moment, but Owlcrate did really impress me with their last box. So I don't know, but the theme for this one is Frozen Fables. It's got this really cool like ice fairy king and queen on the front. This is the spoiler card so I'm not gonna look too much into that and I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. Unfortunately we are kind of jumping into spring here in New England so Frozen themed is a little untimely but it's fine. Oh I forgot okay so Fairy Loot does like these tarot card things. They go with like specific books. So we have Ace of Wands and Two of Wands. This looks like Bear the Nightingale, actually. Does it say? Because that looks like Morosco, and that kind of looks like what I imagined Vasya to look like. Yeah, okay, they are inspired by the Winter Night trilogy. That's so cool! Oh my gosh! Whoops, dropped that. I love the Winter Night trilogy. So that's really, these are gorgeous. They were drawn by at ARZ28 on Instagram. I don't know how to pronounce that, but these are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited to have these as my first tarot cards from Fairy Loot because I was worried I wouldn't know the fandoms, but I do. Okay, next up, it looks like we have socks, which I love socks. These are cute. It says, even the darkest stars, ankle socks designed by Jez Hawk. They're pretty icy blue and navy blue. They've got some mountains and it's like a wolf in the foreground of the socks. They're really pretty. And again, love a good pair of socks. Next up we have a box. Is this a mug? The Bear and the Nightingale ceramic mug. Oh my God. I love Bear and the Nightingale. This is awesome. I feel blessed to have both the tarot cards and a mug. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my god! We have Vasya and Morosko and Morosko's horse. This is gorgeous! Oh my gosh! And there's a pretty little snowflake on the inside. Oh my gosh! This is so pretty. It's like almost too pretty to, to use. It is microwave and dishwasher safe and the artwork is by Mono Lime. I follow her on Instagram and she's awesome. This is so pretty! Oh my gosh! I've said that a million times, but this is so cool. It's so cute and dainty. Oh, I can't wait to drink tea out of this. Next up, it looks like we have like a silk headband with very wintry scenes on it. There's some trees and looks like mistletoe. And is that blood? Jeez. <laughs> um, okay, what is this inspired by? Use this headband to keep any of your unruly hair back inspired by something dark and holy series. Okay, so this is the Wicked Saints item. Gotcha. It doesn't like scream a specific book or anything. I think you could probably still use it if you like these types of headbands. I've not found a way for these to work for me quite yet, so maybe I'll experiment with this. It is pretty. It feels nice to touch. And this one was designed by Katarina Book Designs. There are paper bits in here, which if you've seen my Owl Crate unboxings are my worst enemy. My cat loves to eat these and I gotta keep them away from him. Okay, this looks like the pin. Oh, okay, not the pin. This is a phone ring holder inspired by Winterwood and designed by Iron and Ink Designs. Oh, 
okay, so you like, you put this on the back of your phone and it's a little ring. It's got a really pretty moon, crescent moon and some branches and it says be your own light. That's pretty. I don't know if I want to stick this to my phone, but I'll find a use for it. Next up, it looks like we have a notebook with a really pretty like foiled rose design on the front. So this is inspired by Winter Song by S.J. Jones and was designed and illustrated by Tara Tija. I hope I pronounced that right. I'll put the name up here. So yeah, this is just like a little foiled notebook. Is it lined or unlined? Whoop. Unlined, interesting. Pages are probably too thin to use as a sketchbook, but maybe I'll bring this to work and use it for work notes because it's re it's really pretty. I like the blues. Oh, that's got a quote on the back. It says, a candle unused is nothing but wax and wick. I would rather light the flame knowing it will go out than sit forever in darkness. That's pretty. So cool, that's a nice, nice pretty item. All right, and next up is the book. Oh, wow. Fairy Loop puts them in like these little pouches. That's kind of cool. They're, if you don't have a book sleeve, you could probably use this. They look to be reusable or you could throw like toiletries or something in these. Oh my gosh. The sprayed edges are like blue and glittery. I don't know what this book is. The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinos Rubinkowski. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's so shiny and the sprayed edges again are like, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it's like a really pretty glittery blue. That's gorgeous. It's got a book plate on the inside signed by the author. That's gorgeous. The end papers are really pretty. It looks like snow. And then the naked dust or the naked hardcover has like a, like a necklace on it, I think. And the dust jacket inside has an illustration. I'm assuming of the cast of characters. Looks very cold wherever this takes place. This is gorgeous, wow. So the spoiler card says, our featured book of the month is The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinkowski. It's a thrilling story inspired by Russian folklore. I love that. This epic tale is set in a wintry backdrop and is filled with fables, romance, tragedy, magic, and monsters. This edition has an exclusive cover, shimmery sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse side of the dust jacket by Gab Sternot, foil embossing on the case, and custom end paper signed by Jessica. That's so cool. Yeah, they. this is what I mean. I feel like Fairy Loot goes all out for the special edition versions of their books. And they're just, they're gorgeous pieces you want to display. I don't know what the original cover for this looks like because I've never heard of this book before. But like just everything inside and out is so pretty. And you can tell there was a lot of thought put into all of this and how it would like look all together. Oh, and this is like a character print, I'm assuming of the main character. Okay, so they don't like have a comparison cover on their little fairy scoop thing, but I can post a picture of what the original cover looks like here. And this is what the fairy loot cover looks like. Again, not sure if they're particularly different, but the sprayed edges and the illustration on the inside of the dust jacket are just gorgeous. So I will read what this is about because I've never heard of it. So 17 year old Valeria is one of the only survivors of the freeze, a dark magical holds not mountain unleashed on her village. Everyone, including her family is trapped in an unbreakable sheet of ice. Ever since she's been on the run from the czar who is determined to imprison anyone who managed to escape. Valeria finds refuge with the thieves guild doing odd jobs with her best friend, Alec, and the only piece of home she has left. That is, until he's brutally murdered. <laughs> oh. A year later, she discovers Alec is alive and being held against his will. Okay, well, that was a very short-lived um, sadness. <laughs> they gave it away in the description. <laughs> to buy his freedom, she must lead a group of cutthroats and thieves on a perilous expedition to the very mountain that claimed her family. Only something sinister slumbers in the heart of the knot, and it has waited years for release. Inspired by Russian folklore, Jessica Rubinkowski's epic fantasy debut is a thrilling page turner with romance, tragedy, magic, and monsters that will stay with you to the very end. This sounds so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. And it's, it's funny because like, I feel like this winter I read quite a, well, not quite a few. The, I read the Winter Night series and I just recently finished Spinning Silver. So I've been reading a lot of these stories that have been inspired by kind of like Russian folklore, or, like have that sort of snowy, Russian background setting. So this feels like an appropriate addition to my growing wintry collection of books. And I'm so excited to read this. I do wish we'd gotten this a little bit earlier because this is technically the March box and it's April 9th, April 10th today. So it's a little late if you're a mood reader, but I am really excited to read this and it sounds excellent. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about this one. 
Okay, I just noticed actually I'm missing an item, but I do remember Fairy Loot saying that the US boxes were going to be missing this item because the shipment was delayed and they needed to send out these boxes, which is part of why it came so late. So it looks like there's going to be a foiled art print inspired by Sil Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik featuring artwork by Warwick Art. So I think I'm supposed to be getting that in the next box. And I'm excited to see what it looks like. I Again, I just finished Spinning Silver, so I'm really excited to see what that looks like. All right, and that's it for my first fairy loot unboxing. There are so many beautiful items, but I think my favorite is the mug. It's so gorgeous. I love the Winter Night Trilogy so much. I've mentioned it on my channel like a million times by now, so... I'm really excited that like this is my first ceramic mug I've gotten from a book box and I know they're semi-common but I, I haven't managed to get one yet. This is gorgeous and I'm really excited. It's for a fandom that I really really love so that's really cool. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was. Have you heard of this book? Are you excited about it? Have you read it already? Let me know and yeah if you want to follow my socials I'll leave my handles down below and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.